Hey, Adam here, hope you're well. In this video, I'm gonna be covering those all important couple portrait shots and why I think they might not be that important. For my style of filming, um, I don't direct anything, I don't pose anything, it's all documentary, it's all natural. So at this point of the day, I'm just happy to go along with whatever the photographer's doing with the couple and get all my shots from those little in-between moments. Obviously there is no right or wrong with this, but this is my general sort of shot list rule of thumb. So I always get a good wide shot, plenty of scenery in the background, usually like to frame the couple in the centre of the shot just because I like the symmetry of it. Generally I'll get an off-centre one as well. Then I'll do a bit of a mid-range shot with the couple mostly in the frame, either to the left, to the left or the right, plenty of negative space. Then I'll go in a little bit closer to get some tight shots, focusing on highlights of the face or the hands or the buttonholes. I also quite like to get an out of focus one, so the focus is on the background for example or some other area and you can kind of see the outline and the shapes of the couple. Maybe get a silhouette shot if the lighting's right. Depending where you are, try and shoot through things like, like flowers or glass or greenery or things like that. And I always film these parts on my trusty 85mm Prime. It's obviously a little bit of a tighter shot but it's dead easy to fit around the photographer and frame them out so you're not getting them in the shot or getting in their way. Also, I would shoot all of these bits in 50 frames per second because then you've got the option to slow it down in post. If you walk into a location or a certain spot with the couple, just drop back and film them walking, get a shot of them walking together, maybe focus on the hands and then do the same on the way back when they're just walking back towards the venue after. You can do this bit handheld, you can just follow them and, and walk with them and film as you go. Obviously it's not going to be the most stable shot, that kind of motion and movement that you get is going to fit when you see them walking. Okay, so that's how I do it, that's my process, but here's the bit I want to talk about. Try going to your next wedding and purposely don't film the portraits. Hear me out. In, in all the weddings that I've done, you know, you're not going to always get the perfect conditions for portrait shots. Sometimes you might be short on time or you might have a completely contrasting idea to the photographer and there might be just situations where you think oh, it would have, maybe would have been better if I could have had this or I could have had that. I used to worry about it, I used to you know go film portraits and then I'd come away after the wedding thinking oh my god did I get enough there, did I get good enough stuff, how am I going to make a good film without the, the portrait shots. But here's the thing, we as filmmakers put this pressure on ourselves that we need to get the epic portrait shots because that's what the photographer's doing or that's what's going to look nice on Instagram and that's going to get us recognition from our peers. But you don't need to, to work like a photographer. You're making a film, not a photograph. You're not working for other videographers or people on Facebook. You're working for the couple. And those portrait shots, while they can look amazing, they aren't the real moments of the day. And you, and you can't build up a story or a film with just those moments. You need everything else as well. So it's more important to focus on the real parts of the day. You know, the, the bits that in 20 years time, the couple are really gonna appreciate having those those memories. And then, if you know you can make a really good film without any portrait shots, then you're not relying on them on your next wedding. You don't need to worry about nailing them next time if it's not working out the way you want it to. And if you do happen to get good portraits and this, you get that golden hour and the sun sets just right and you do happen to get those awesome portraits, bonus. But if not, no worries. Try it on your next wedding as an experiment and see if it frees you up. Focus on the real moments of the day, on what the couple are going to hold dear, and if it works, let me know. If you completely disagree with me, let me know. Let's chat about it, leave me a comment, and until then, I hope you found this video useful. I will see you in the next one.